we, we are going to start the conversation a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you are even going to talk about if you have any regrets and all that. But for now, I want you to tell me. Now we are going to talk about development of Ghana boxing. Uh, what are the things that you think we can improve? I mean, you being outside, you had the benefit of visiting different gyms, training under different coaches, mm -hmm. going to other television stations. I mean, you've, you've seen a lot. What are the things that we can bring? Yes, we don't have the resources to do, but what are the things you think we can bring into our yeah, boxing? Yeah, I think, you know, the, 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 the managers, the promoters, the boxers, you know, and the, the GB as a whole, I mean, we need to come together and, you know, and brainstorm let everyone come tell you how it feels we need to understand each other you know and everyone has to know the job and you can't be doing your job 50 50 and expect the other person to come out with the other person you know we also we all have equal, i mean part to play if we don't play a part where you don't you know we can never succeed you know as a boxer you know you got to train a promoter i mean a promoter has to always look for a wi-fi for the boxer and the manager you got to make sure the boxer do the right things you know whatever the boxer needs to prepare himself that because i don't know if i work with you right and i go in there and something happens to me and i can't fight anymore you, you you see my family one two three times and that's it you forget <laughs> there you go <laughs> you understand so if we can know i guess all these things be honest lawyer and be straightforward you know the best no way boxing can can never like uh, be of uh, uh, be the way we want to see. There is no way we cannot tackle all these things. Richard, you sound like boxing is a dirty sport full of shenanigans. Yeah, it does. When you don't know, when you don't know, yeah, people are going to outsmart you. But when you know, the, when you know, there's no way they're going to do that. And have you been outsmarted before? Because I've got a lawyer. <laughs> 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 have your lawyer ever outsmarted you before? No. Because he's working for me. Mm -hmm. So why would he do that? Mm -hmm. That's why. Mm -hmm. He's working for me. So I told him when he works for me. So why would he, why would he, I mean, why would he uh, gang up with someone against me? Is he a No. Does not matter for so <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so you, does it matter? Th does it matter for like say does it matter if the person is a Ghanaian or like a foreigner? Do you need to have international law uh, background? It doesn't really matter, but okay. the thing is mm. the person should know mm. the inside out of boxing. Okay. It's not just a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of lawyers there, you know, everyone has got his food. We go a company lawyer, we do the food, we go a sports lawyer, we got this, this. Mm -hmm. But this lawyer must be someone who knows the inside out of the boxing. And not only, for example, in Ghana, but someone who has been there in the in that side, you know. And then when he say the promoters or the manager or whatever around him knows, I mean his caliber. They know the, they know what the person knows what he's talking That's about. That's right. If not, they can draw something to you, uh, like, you know, it's all right, but then it turns out to be different thing altogether. And it's all about connection, because you need information, you understand? Yeah. And then, so, I mean, yeah. Wow. This, 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 mm. this year, I think it has been sad with some boxers losing their lives. Losing their lives. Yeah. Uh, uh, what do you have to say about the refereeing when it comes to well, I can, stopping? I, I, I can't really blame them and... Uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes the referee will stop too early, and people will be like, "Oh, why did you do that?" And sometimes they, they try to give uh, the person a little bit of chance and see if he can do something. Then it turned out to be something else. I think it's hard, but that is why we always have to make sure when we send the bosses into the ring, we have to make sure they are ready for it. You understand? Because anything can happen. It's not that I wish that someone goes to the ring. Someone goes to work and come back as a, a cops, you know, as a, as a dead body, you know. It's not what we were praying for. This is an entertainment, mm -hmm. you know. So it is really sad, and I pray that something of that sort will happen to any Ghanaian boxer. Have you ever felt uh, uh, in a bad mood when it comes to health in the ring before? No. no I haven't How many times have you been cut? I think... Uh, normally, when I fought, um, when I fought my first, no, 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 Edis Liman. When I fought my first national title, I did, Collie, Collison, yeah, I had a crash, and then 
I've got a car and then a Slimani. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm told that some for some boxers, if it's the first time they get a bit jittery when they see their blood oozing. Is it is it true that psychologically it's Yeah, it's when I first had like uh, when I first uh, when I fought Kolo Kolo is when I got a car, I was worried. You know, and uh, I was like, Man, I gotta kill this guy. You know, there are some different everyone has got uh, the way he feels differently when he sees blood. You now, for me, it doesn't really, I don't really care because when, when you're playing for a fight and you get a bad car, that's why I don't like it. But when you're in a real fight, this is the final stage. So that doesn't really, really bother me a lot because at least you are doing your, your, your work. So, you know, mm. yeah. Mm. I think the fact that the conversation is now finally being wrapped up. But mm. I want to uh, find out from Ricky to call me. Uh, you've, you've all been talking about things, but in our know, lives, uh, there, there are people who have been very important to us, especially mm. our mothers, mm. our wives, mm. all that. Uh, is it my fathers? Uh, uh, I, have a, I have a feeling I'm preempting what Mufta is going to say. No, I'm not going to ask that question. <laughs> okay, mm. Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> How important has your mom been to your life? Mm, I mean, and your girlfriend, her name again? Savannah. Savannah. No, my wife. Okay, your wife. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys your family? Yeah. Your family? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. What is my wing? But why aren't you wearing it? Because I'm a boxer now. I train every day, so okay. taking it, taking it, taking it. It's a very good excuse. It's a very good excuse. It's a very good excuse. I should have no, no, been wearing it. It's a to be wearing my ring every day. It's a very good excuse. She was still the girlfriend. Oh, okay, now. In August, you're married without even inviting me. This is just a traditional something, but we're going to do the, I mean, the other side. Mm -hmm. So I've just given you exclusive. Mm -hmm. Richie mm -hmm. is married now. Wow. He's out of the market. Congratulations. <laughs> How important has that girl been to you? I mean, she understand what I, she understand my work, and you know, she doesn't really bother me a lot, you know. So she understand what I'm doing. She always give me the time I needed when you know when I have to do certain things. She understands, so that's cool. Could there ever be a point where you are fighting and she goes like today? No. Nah. Like nah. <laughs> No way, I don't even. Uh, we cool, we cool. We understand each other, so that's the most important thing, you know. Yeah. Richard, Teofimo Lopez. Look, we've been talking about him, he's, he's had a lot of hype and all that. That fight is soft. Uh, do you really want that fight to happen? Because yeah. he's now <laughs> trying to pull out, sort of. Do you really want the fight to happen? I want. Anyone who will sell me big time, anyone that can be big money, <laughs> when I fight him, no problem. Because he what? wants to be rich. What? <laughs> that's, 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 that's great. Uh -huh. what, what are the likes of Lomachenko, those guys are doing? Because when I see you and I see Lomachenko, I don't see much difference. Probably you are even a better puncher, hard puncher than him. But then, what, what are they doing right? The fact that they command so much, not just television right, but they make a lot of money. What is the trick? You have to understand, we're coming from... Africa and India, I mean, obviously, there are people and, you know, they, they, you know, sometimes you don't understand. We have to fight our way up just to get what we want. Mm. You understand? But for them, everything is there for them when they do the pa 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 and then they get what they want. So it has been this for a very long time and it's still the same thing. So what can we say? How difficult is it being an African boxer in USA? You know, how difficult is it to come through the ranks and probably get the pay-per-view status? It is, it is very difficult when, you know, because you're there and nobody knows, nobody want to even look at you and nobody want to even sign you up unless you go into the ring and do your job. So, you know, it has always, imagine you've been training, you've been working out, but yeah, nobody knows you. How are they going to, and even for you to get opportunity to fight someone better, I mean, if you're there, you're doing good, like, you know, compared to wise, you know, when they, when they start, right from the beginning, they've got someone already. You know, everything is there. Pa, 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 you do that, you go to the But for us, we got to struggle, 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 struggle. Until finally when people see that, ah, we can do it before, we've got all those things. So, that's how it is. And that's how it has been. It's always is like that. Mm. Mm. 
recently you, you tweeted and uh, uh, Louis de Bella equally also responded by saying mm. that you should you should not even I mean give a damn about those people and that when they finally get into the ring then they will be looking at the ceiling more or less trying to say that then they would that they've met their meter <laughs> IT powers will say they've met their <laughs> meter yeah. well first of all um do you sometimes feel that you're not being given the recognition that you need yeah yeah even from where I'm from ghana if i don't even give it they, most people don't give it to me so if outsiders are doing that what will i have to say but I why know, do you think it is that in ghana and what can we do to i don't know i think sometimes people mm. i think sometimes come down to jealous sometimes it's, it's a lot of you know I, it, man, everyone has got his mm. reason for for it's really to just to hate you or to discredit you so i mean for me it is what it is but i pray that god doesn't see me that way and god doesn't really hate me you know god want me to do what i'm doing that's why he gave me this job so when i look up to him put a smile on my faces strengthen and i know i gotta do more so that's it but is it disappointing that you marry so much credit people don't give it to you yeah sometimes it's that but some of them also take it away it is because what will you do to change your minds nothing for me will change your mind so you gotta leave it the way it is it's, it's yeah yeah it is profitable i mean you talk to somebody who, 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 who works and don't get paid <laughs> nobody but works and tell me paid. this you talk to somebody promoters and they go like no they are losing money they are lo what are they doing wrong i don't know maybe they are investing uh in wrong uh, boxes mm. yeah because if your boxer is not marketable then you're gonna definitely lose money i think that's one of the major reasons why the Ghanaian boxers are you know we finding it difficult for especially those who cannot express themselves and you know you go outside they ask you question and you be like so they, they, they see like they see us like we cannot we can we are not marketable so you understand what i mean and people will always you know outside they love they want people to talk who can talk you understand what i mean yeah and that has been one of uh, also i mean our uh, obstacle that we to you know what I mean? Should it become a requirement that a boxer is at least able to express himself? Yeah, but definitely, yeah. The boxer should. Guys, a this is our final that, question. So, yes, one, one. A a final question. Yes. yes. Final mm. round. Final. Final. Uh, <laughs> final. Uh, if it is final, Richard, your final comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. I want to thank you guys for, you know, for inviting me this very morning. We thank God that it has been a fruitful one in our I thank uh, all my fans out there, all the Ghanaians who pray, who always been praying for me, and they should keep on praying that you know we got something ahead of us, which is going to put Ghana into the next level in terms of boxing. So they should keep their prayers coming, and definitely I won't let them down because I'll put myself down just to make sure I'm going to train hard to put a smile on their faces. So yeah, this is what. You know, like you see, and also to the young bosses, man, don't worry about your fun, your fun, your fun, yeah? The guy got to find a year, no more year. Yes, that's American like boxing. Yeah, I mean, does. see, whatever has mm. got a name, mm. exists. Exists. And also, those things, if, <laughs> if, you, if you joke with it, it's going to cause a problem. But the thing is, I don't believe in that. I don't go there. I don't play with it. So, mm. I believe in God. I pray. If anyone, because it doesn't do it. Good. No, if anyone do it without my I have not mm. asked anyone. I don't know anything about it. But for me personally, I would never do that. So the up and coming bosses, I'm telling you, if anyone tells you, let's go and see this malam, let's go see this jujuma, let's go, I can do this, I can do it, forget about it. Just train hard and pray. If you are a Muslim, you can pray. They pray seven times. Make sure you pray. The foreigners, so do it, those whites, do they believe in things like that? Yeah, mm -hmm. some. I mean, I've, I've thought a lot of boys who believe in God. Example, we better believe in God. He prays, you understand? So, if you are most of this pray five times and make sure you do that, you humble yourself, you respect your elderly, and then you do what you have to do. Train hard. Ask for their blessings, you know, the elderly. Mm -hmm. It's very important. And then you work at them. Whatever you have to do, God will take you there. But have you been influenced before? Oh, a lot. How did you overcome them? I don't want to mention, like I'll mention one name that you know that, yeah. Mm -hmm. When I was even fasting and praying and the person come to me, yeah, you got to have, uh, you know, you know what I mean, someone to, where we are, you are heading, mm -hmm. 
I said, don't fast and if, yeah, yeah, I know you are, you going to church, but I got to have done. I said, no. Ever since, the person will send people to come in. I said, oh, we'll be tell him I'm coming. I never go there. Now, when he sees me, he can't talk to me. Wait a this, 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 this is a very no, good comment. supposed to be coming. Yes, yeah, I'll come to believe that. But that's the last comment. <laughs> the, the white guys, <laughs> they also do you After this, you Yeah, know. they do. They also believe in certain things that they do whenever they, you know, they go their rituals, whatever they believe in. Before they come to the fact, they make sure they consult, they do whatever they have to do. Uh, now, Richard, your junior brother, Duke Maga, is fighting August 31st. Right. It has been a year long mm -hmm. for him. Yeah. He is now fighting under. Yes. What do you have to say? Yeah, I mean, I've seen him in the gym and he's been working so hard. He's in top shape and yeah, he's going to train under. But two. what should what should um, as it were, coaches in Ghana, what should they do to attain that status where somebody in America can come and say, okay, I want a, a coach in Ghana? Because when you come here, we have all the talents. Mm -hmm. Talking about boxes, quality boxes. But somehow, some way, even with the African games, we seem not to be performing like we should. Yeah, should I we? think I think the relationship with the, the coach and they always think that they are always in control of the ball. They hold the boss, and it shouldn't be that way. You know, sometimes you might be a coach, but I always have to look at the, the feedback, where the listen to where the boss is, because he's the one doing it. You know, and also, you know, they shouldn't always put, insist on the boss to do something when they are not feeling right to do. You got to look at the person. If you ask him to do this, he can't do it. Like when he does it, you got a problem. But when he does a uh, different thing, similar to what you ask, and he finds it very good and it's smoothly, then you got to let him do that. You know, that's how. It, polish it for the person. That's why. So it seems like most the coaches here, I mean, they are very good, but sometimes they always like they hone you. You got to do what they say. Mm -hmm. You understand? And also, when um, a boxer. Uh, a coach is training a boss and they see the boss are doing something with somebody, then they go on it. You know, back in America, I've seen that Andre will be there, and then some of the coaches might come to the gym and they might say, oh, Do that, do that. Andre will be like this. He will say anything. Because if you, uh, like what he sees is not what that coach is saying. And he doesn't know if what the person is telling him might be the best point for him to win this next fight. So the coaching must be like, you know, they should come to them, they should be free. Oh, that's why, right, you understand? To take advice mm. from the boss or from the other coach and they should come together. It doesn't really matter if a boss is fighting for a mm. B fight, representing Ghana. If they are close by and they are close to the gym, they should go to the hub because that's where the unity comes from. But it seems like, eh, like a lot of fighting among them, and that is no good. Boxers uh, actually complains about not having support from government. What I want to know is, in the U.S., how does it go? Do they get support from the government? And do our boxers have um, enough grounds to say that government is not supporting You know, this, this kind of question, I don't really, because I'm not into, you know, I'm not there and I can't really say much. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in terms of the, uh, what I know in terms of the amateur, you know, they got set up pretty well. I know they be, in terms of U.K., when you want to go murder or, they, they put their money in the, into the amateur side. They invest a lot, okay. quite. And also, when you win a medal, they make sure before okay. you turn pro, okay. they give you some amount of money that you're gonna. You understand? They make sure before turning pro, you are into the right places. So you understand? You won't have to face all that difficulties. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that's that's the way they do their things. Okay. Well, I guess we will call it a show because uh, the good the bad thing is that for you ladies that were actually thinking that Richie Kome wasn't tied up. Don't worry, I've got, I've got okay. a few guys who are not, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David is tied up. David is tied up. No, 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 no. Uh, Please don't expose you. You are tied up. No. I'm tired up. 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 We are all married. We are all married. But the thing is... Uh, we haven't really seen the uh, better half uh, yet. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. everyone is married, so. I said I have more slots. What is your problem? I have more slots to fill. What is your your own? It's okay. There are no more married, married. No that is private okay. staff. That's you understand what I mean? So we keep it that way. Of course. Winfred, while I know Segu as well, with Boxing Ghana, also quality questions. And you know, the controversial, but of course, straight to the point. Oh. Muftal, Abdullah, <laughs> Abdullah. <laughs> 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 they have a mischievous <laughs> Muftal. <laughs> 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 <laughs>